Today I'm going to show you how I make all flour tortillas. They're quite easy to make and taste a lot better than the store-bought ones. All the ingredients, their quantities and the recipe can be found below the video in the description. First, let's sift our flour into our bowl. This will remove any clumps and make our flour fluffier. When you're choosing your bread flour, make sure it has at least 11 grams of protein in it. To the flour, add 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of salt and lard or vegetable shortening if you wish to make it vegan friendly. For the best results, for me personally, I prefer to use the lard because it gives a special taste to it. Massage your lard or vegetable shortening into the flour so that we get a coarse sand consistency. Now start mixing your flour as you pour in your warm water. This way you can ensure even distribution of water throughout the flour. Pour your water in slowly and in small batches. This will also prevent you from adding too much water, because it always depends on your flour and humidity how much water your flour will actually absorb. If your bowl starts to move around like mine did here, just put either a wet kitchen towel underneath it, or you can even add a wet kitchen wipe as I did. It was the closest thing at hand. Continue with adding your water and mix in the dough until you get a slightly sticky dough and there is no flour left in the bowl. Test your kitchen counter with flour and place your dough on top. Flatten it a bit and start kneading. Grab the top part of your dough and fold it over. With the bottom part of your palm, push down and forward on the dough. Repeat this motion for about 4 to 6 minutes. If you get tired halfway through, you can start alternating hands or you can just use a stand mixer if you have it. Once the dough is smooth, doesn't tear anymore and is soft to the touch, it should be ready. Dust the board plate or a flat pan with flour. Divide the dough in 6 to 8 pieces, depending how big you wish your tortillas to be. I couldn't decide at first, but I ended up with 6 pieces. Just make sure they're of equal size. Form the dough into bowls and place them on the board. Make sure there is a bit of space between the bowls, dust over the flour and cover with plastic wrap. Leave them to rest for about 20 minutes. After their rest, dust your workspace with flour and start shaping your tortillas. Take your dough bowl, flatten it and stretch it out in a circle. Place it down and roll it out with your rolling pin, turning it with each roll ever so slightly until you reach your desired size. Mine were about 25 centimeters. Just make sure they're not too thin or they might tear. Place your tortilla on a well heated dry pan. It should take about 45 seconds to a minute for it to become bubbly all over the surface. If you see a lot of smoke coming from your pan, turn down your heat, it means your pan is too hot. Opposite, if it takes more than a minute for the bubbles to appear, it means your pan is not hot enough. Turn your tortilla over. The other side should only need about 30 seconds. It will again puff up slightly. Take it off and place it into a damp towel. This will keep the tortilla soft. I do hope you have enjoyed this week's recipe and hope to see you back next week. Until then, bye bye!